Hey guys, and welcome back to Cute Girls Hairstyles. This week, Brooklyn's gonna help me show you how to do the half up rosette. Hi guys. <laughs> yeah, now, so you guys know that Brooklyn and Bailey are going to homecoming soon. So we've been trying out different styles in preparation for that. Brooklyn decided she wants her hair down. So this was one of the styles that we practiced on her. So one of the most important things to remember when you're doing an updo or a homecoming hairstyle that you want to have hold for a long time is that you need to use quite a few products, more than normal. So when Brooklyn got out of the shower, I put some Moroccan oil through the ends of her hair, and of course I put some heat protectant through her hair as well. And before I blow dried it, I added some volumizing root boost just right through the crown area, and then of course we blow dried her hair. Now this is gonna help give all this volume, and that's what we want on this hairstyle. So then I parted the hair. You can see I parted it right down the middle, and I made two little rectangle sections right here and right here for this hairstyle. And then from this point, I went ahead and added just a titch of dry shampoo to cover up any oil and a little bit of powder play, which powder play is like a texturizing powder, so it gives a really good grip to the hair and it's gonna help us really get that boost in the root and in the braid. So I'm gonna sweep the rest of her hair to one side. Now that I have all those products in her hair, I am going to just separate off this little front section and I'm going to back comb just a little bit. So I don't have to back comb a ton now because I've got good product in there that's gonna help volumize in the root. So you can see I'm just kind of working section by section, just taking the comb down a couple times down the strand. This isn't gonna be hard to comb out when we're finished. We're just giving a little bit of volume. When you're done teasing, back combing, just gonna go back to the front and just very gently using like the edge of my comb, slide it over just to smooth out those top hairs so we don't want any of the teasing to show. By using the edge of the comb, you also prevent you pulling out the teasing. So now this hair section's ready to braid. I'm obviously going to be doing just a basic Dutch braid. So I'm gonna go to the front, pick up a little section, and begin a basic Dutch braid. The only tip I would give you on this Dutch braid part is just don't pull the hair so tight that it flattens everything out. We want it to be really puffy and volumized right there on the top. When you get to this part, just switch to a regular three strand braid. And I'm going to go about halfway down. And then I'm gonna go back and pancake just that outside edge. So the edge closest to the ear. Only till where it hits the Dutch braid. When you've done all of that, secure it with an elastic at the end. And then I go back up to the top and just very gently pancake both sides of the Dutch braid on the top. This is just gonna give the braid a little more fullness, a little more dynamic look on the top of the head. That's what we want. Okay, now you're gonna take the left braid and you're going to wrap it up and over, making a circle effect, making kind of like a little rosette shape right here and we want to leave those little outside edges that we left pancaked out so that they stick out a little farther. Then you're gonna take the right side and you're gonna go the opposite direction. So again, we're leaving the pancaked edge out. And then wrap that up and tuck those ends under. They aren't visible. And we have this nice, really pretty rosette shaped bun. And then you just take a bobby pin and secure the edges of the braid so that they stay in place. Tip back so they can see your fun little bun right here, braided bun. And then you can see that we've added wand curls through the rest of her hair to just add texture and dynamic. And there you go. And a half up rosette. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye.